Welcome to Ezekiel Academy YouTube channel. In this lecture, I want to examine taxation of employment income in line with Finance Act 2019 and 2020. If you are coming across my lecture for the first time, please like the video and also share it with others. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you for being part of this channel. The Personal Income Tax Act, CAP P8, LFN 2004, that is Law of Federation of Nigeria 2004, as amended. Defines employment to include any appointment or office, whether public or otherwise, for which remuneration is payable, and employee and employer shall be construed accordingly. Employment income shall be divided into two. Employment income shall be divided into two, we have earned income, earned income, and unearned on earned income. For better understanding, watch my earlier video on personal income tax. Earned income include the basic salary, we have basic salary, we have allowances, allowances or bonuses. Then we have benefits in kind. Benefits in kind. Benefits in kind and income from previous employment. Our add income includes dividends, dividend income, Renter income and uh, interest income. Interest income. That is on uh, and income. Then allowances. Allowances include we have bonuses. Bonuses, we have children allowance or housing allowance. Let me have housing allowance. Then we have transport allowance. Transport allowance. We have leave allowance. We have Meal allowance, utility allowance, we have clothing allowance, and any other ones, other allowances, various other allowances available to the employees. Then, benefits in kind. Benefits in kind. Benefits in kind are the expenses incurred by the employer in the provision of benefits to the employees. The expenses incurred by the employers in the provision of the benefits to the employees are said to be benefits in kind. So benefits in kind include number one, the use of assets, the use of assets, the use of assets. We may have assets owned by the employers. Assets owned by the employer. The use of the assets owned by the employer. No, I want you to know assets might be in form of plant and machinery, motor vehicles, land and building, furniture and fittings. So, an asset owned by the employers. The benefit that is taxable in the hands of the employee will be the five percent of the cost of the asset where this is low. 
5% of the cost of the cost of the asset. We are it is no. Or five percent of the market value of the asset. We are cost is not no. Five percent of the market value of the asset. We are cost of the asset is not no. The market value of the asset will be determined by the tax authority. B. The use of assets rented or hired by the employer. The use of assets rented or hired by the employer. The amount of rent paid by the employers is taxable in hands of the employees. The amount of rent paid by the employer is taxable in hands of the employees. Number two, we have the provision of residential accommodation. Provision of residential residential accommodation provision of residential accommodation where the employer provide a residential accommodation to the employee for which no rent is paid by the employee or the rent paid is lower than the value of the premises I repeat where a residential accommodation is provided by the employer to the employee, for which the employee pays no rent, or where he pay rent that is lower than the value of the premises. The annual rentable value of the premises is taxable in the hands of the employees. Annual rentable value of the premises. That is the amount that is taxable in hands of the employees. The annual rentable value of the premises is taxable in hands of the employee. Number three, domestic staff by employers. We are the employers or the employer provides domestic staff to the employee. The amount of benefit that is taxable in hands of the employee is the salary of the domestic staff. The salary of the domestic staff is taxable in hands of the employees. Number four, benefits to employees exempted from tax. Benefits to employees exempted from tax. The following benefits are exempted from tax in hands of employees as Benefits in kind. Number one, we have provision of me to all staff in, in county. Or provision of no assignable luxury voucher. Provision of me to all staff in county. Or provision of no assignable luxury voucher. These are not taxable. Expenses for provision of uniform or that protection clothing to employees. They are not taxable as benefits in kind. Expenses in cure for the change of residence as a result of transfer of employees. 
where the employee is transferred from one location to the other, resulting in an employer incurring rent due to changes in residence, I, I mean, due to the transfer of the employees. That expenses incurred on that rent by the employer is not taxable in hands of the employees. So, basis of assessment. Basis of assessment. Employment income are uh, taxable on national year basis. Actual year basis. Employment income are uh, taxable in actual year basis. That is January 1 to December 31st of the same year. Actual year basis. How much? You put the name of the person, of the taxpayer. You have computation, computation of tax payable or tax liability for 20XX year of assessment. You write your year of assessment in full. I remember I've told you the personal income tax is accessible on actual year basis. So you start with and income, and income. And income includes the basic salary, basic salary of the employee, then allowances. Allowances may include housing allowance, housing, Allowance mean allowance mean allowance. Then you may have transport allowance, transport allowance, leave allowance. Leave allowance, clothing allowance, clothing allowance, then bonuses, bonuses, then other allowances. So the total allowances will be this. Then you have benefits in, in kind. Benefits in kind. As I've explained, you follow that principle. Then when you add everything, you have total and income. Total and income. There you have on and income, which include renter income, renter income. There you have interest income, interest income. Then investment income or dividend. Dividend or investment income. So when you add your earned income, you have this. You add the earned and earned income, you have this. This is total income. From total income, you less tax exempt items. Less tax exempt items. This includes life assurance premium. 
life assurance premium. Then we may also have national housing funds contribution. National housing funds contribution. NHFC. NHFC. You may equally have national health insurance scheme. National health insurance scheme. National health insurance scheme. Then you may also have national pension scheme. National pension scheme. National pension scheme. Then you may have gratuity. These are the tax exempt deductions. You subtract the total of this from the total income. Then you have gross income. Gross income. From the gross income, you less consolidated less consolidated relief allowance consolidated relief allowance consolidated relief allowance which include we take the higher of this higher of 200,000 naira or 1% of gross income. Higher of 200,000 or 1% of gross income. You choose the higher of the two. Then plus 20% of gross income. You calculate 20% of gross income. The gross income you have arrived at here. So then the addition of this, you now deduct it from gross income, you arrive at the chargeable income. Chargeable income. The chargeable income will be used to compute the tax liability. We use our chargeable income to compute the tax liability. We have tax liability. The first 300,000 naira will be taxed at 7%, and that will be 21,000. 7% of 300,000, that will be 21,000. Next, 300,000 naira will be taxed at, you have 4% to it, you have 11%. 11% of 300,000, that will be 33,000. Then next, 500,000 naira will be taxed at plus 11 plus 4, that will be 15%. That will be 75,000. Then next, 500,000 will be taxed at 15 plus 4, that is 19%. That will be 95,000. Then, uh, next, 1.6 million. That will be taxed at 19 plus 2, that will be 21%. That will be 336,000. 336,000. Anything above, above 3.2 thousand, anything above 3.2 thousand will be taxed at 24 percent. Then that could be any amount depending on the size of income upon which 24 percent will be applied. The addition of this, that will be the tax liability or tax payable.
I want to solve question number one. I can November 2021. I can November 2021. Transition. Question one. Keep watching. Example. Miss Okoyemi Olumba is a young engineer who has been working in an oil sector for over five years. She currently earns a gross salary of 10 million naira per annum. She recently attended two interviews for a new job at Joker Oil and Gas in River State and Gabriel Hotels and Suit in Lagos State. She has been called by the two companies to assume office on April 1st, 2021. The following salaries and allowances were offered by the two companies. We have Docker, Oil, and Gas. Basic salary is 50 million. Housing allowance is 20 million. Transport allowance, 2 million. Utility allowance, 800,000. Meal allowance, 500,000. Leave allowance, 5.8 million. Clothing allowance, 2 million. Official car, 10 million. Total, 91.1 million. For W Hotel and Suit, basic salary, 55 million. Transport allowance, 10 million naira. Utility allowance, 2 million. Meal allowance, 5 million. Leave allowance, 5 million. Floating allowance, 4.1 million. Official car, 10 million. Total, 91.1 million naira. Additional information. One, Ms. Okoyemi currently lives in her apartment in Lagos State. If she accepts the offer of Joker Oil and Gas, she will rent out the apartment for 20 million naira per annum. Although she will need to carry out some modifications of the house, she intends to borrow 12 million naira from ABC Bank at an annual interest rate of 20%. For the modification of the premises. The loan repayment will start with effect from August 1st, 2021. Note 2. If she assess this offer, she will pay rent of 5 million naira in Port Harcourt. 3. She has a child who is a student at St. John University. 4. She maintains her parents. 5. She pays life assurance premium of 5 million naira per year on herself. Six, her employers will deduct a remit on her behalf. Contribution to National Housing Fund, 5 million naira. Contribution to Pension Fund, 3 million naira. Seven, she pays National Health Insurance premium of 1 million naira on herself. Ms. Okoyemi has approached you as a task consultant to advise her on which of the offers to accept with the aim of achieving a higher income after tax required. A. Compute personal income tax liability of Ms. Okoyemi for the relevant year of assessment. B. Advise Ms. Okoyemi on the employment that will enable her to achieve a higher income after tax. Now let's have the solution to the question. Ms. Okoyemi Ulumba Computation in the requirement A. Computation of back to the question you are to compute personal income tax liability of Mr. Kwemi for the relevant year of assessment the year of assessment have to be stated if you put examiner will put relevant year of assessment but in your own answer you should identify the year of assessment assessment and put it if you fail to put the year of assessment if you give back to the examiner for the relevant year of assessment, you'll be marked 
zero. No single mark will be awarded to you for failure to identify the year of assessment. So it is the examiner that we put for the relevant year of assessment. We don't need to put for the relevant year of assessment. Computation of personal income tax liability. Computation of personal income tax liability. For remember, I've told you it is wrong to put for the relevant year of assessment. The year of assessment has to be identified. What will be the year of assessment? You were told. She has been called by the two companies to assume office on April 1st, 2021. That means the year of assessment of Mr. Oferebi Oluba is 2021. Remember, I've told you employment income is assessed on actual year basis. Actual, not preceding. Please take note. If you put for 2022, you'll be marked zero. Because the employment income is assessed on actual year basis, not preceding year basis. So for 2021, year of assessment. Remember, I've told you, the year of assessment has to be specified. Actual year being a period from January 1, January 1, 2021 to December 31st, 2021. That is Ashwa. So, now, if Ms. Okwemi is in employment, employment of Joker, oil, and gas. So, this assessment is for the employment of Joker, oil, and gas. The year of assessment has to be stated correctly. If you put 2021, if you put 2022, it's wrong. If you put for the relevant year of assessment, it is wrong. You have to state it correctly, actual year basis. Now, you were told she currently earns a gross salary of 10 million per annum. That is for a year, she earns a salary of 10 million. She recently attended two interviews for a new job at Joker Ireland oil and gas in River State and W Hotels and Suits in Lagos State. She has been called by the two companies to assume office on April 1st, 2021. That means the former employment will terminate by March 31st, 2021. So she will still receive uh, income salary of three months before she will assume office in the new job. So, remember, I've told you that the Employment income is assessed on actual year basis. That is from 1st of January 2021 to 31st of December, 31st of December 2021. That is the basis period. So, remember, we've divided the employment income into earned income. So, earned income, we have salary from Former employment. No, from the former employment, you will still receive salary of January, 1st of January 2021 to 31st of March 2021 before she will assume office in her new job. So remember, her annual salary was 10 million in her former employment. So 10 million. 10 million times no salary of January, February, March, three months out of 12 months in a year. How much would be a salary for that three months? That would be 2.5 million naira. 2.5 million naira. That is the amount. She will, she would receive from her former employment. Then, in Joker or you know, Ojo, she was assuming office. She used to assume office on April first, twenty twenty one. That means from April twenty twenty one to 
no, I know salary is 50 million. If she is to receive 50 million for a year, then from April 2021 to December 2021, how much is that? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. From April 2021, April 1st, 2021, to December 31st, 2021, that is nine months. That means you will need to apply time apportionment to all income from docker, oil, and gas. You calculate that of nine months. So we have basic salary of 50 million. Salary that is from docker, oil, and gas. That will be from April. 1st of April 2021 to 31st of December 2021, which is nine months. Remember, the salary is 50 million. That's nine months out of 12 months. So 50 million. That's nine divided by 12. That is 37.5 million. That is 7.5 million. Then we also have housing allowance, 20 million. Housing allowance, housing allowance. Though the period spent in Joker oil and gas is nine, uh, nine months. So housing allowance of 20 million for a year times nine months. So 20 million times nine divided by 12. That is 15 million. 15 million. Then we have transport allowance, 2 million. Transport allowance, 2 million. That is 9 over 12. That will be 1.5 million. Back to the question. We have Utility allowance, 800,000. Utility allowance, 800,000 times 9 over 12. 800,000 times 9 divided by 12. That is 600,000. This 9 over 12. Is for the period of April 2021 to December 2021. Back to the question. We have meal allowance, 500,000. Meal allowance, 500,000 times 9 over 12. That gives us 375,000. Back to the question. We have leave allowance, 5.8 million. Leave allowance, 5.8 million. That's 9 over 12. That is four million three fifty thousand. Back to the question. We have 
floating allowance. Two million. Floating allowance. That is two, mi uh, two million. That's nine over twelve. That gives us one point five million. Then we have official car ten million. Official car is an asset that is a benefit enjoyed by Opayemi Ulumba. So we said we are an employees make use of the uh, of the asset of the employers. The benefits in case will be five percent of the value of the asset, of the cost of the asset, where it is low. And where the cost is not low, we calculate the 5% of the market value. Since we are given the cost to be 10 million, so the benefits in kinds will be 5% of 10 million. So benefits in kinds. 5% of 10 million. That is the benefits enjoyed. For a year. So for nine months now, that's nine over 12. She will enjoy it for nine months in 2021 year of assessment. But when she gets to 2022, she will enjoy it for the whole year. So 5% of 10 million. That gives us 500,000 times nine divided by 12. We have Three seventy-five thousand. It is seventy-five thousand. This is for Dabri Hotel and Suit. So we want to finish with Joker Oil and Gas before we start with that of Dabri Hotel and Suit. Note one: Miss Okwemi currently lives in her apartment in Lagos State. She current if she accepts the offer of Joker Oil and Gas. She will rent out the apartment for 20 million. This is an earned income. So now that means these are the only earned income we have. This is in employment of Joker Oil and Gas. Now let's sum it up 2.5 million plus 37.5. It's itself for five million plus fifteen million plus one point five million plus six hundred thousand plus three seven five thousand plus four million three fifty thousand. Four million three fifty thousand plus one point five million plus three seven five thousand three seventy five thousand we have sixty three point seven million sixty three point seven million total and income. This is in employment of Joker Oil and Gas. Now, after an income, we have our hand income. Mr. Okoye, we currently lives in her apartment in Lagos State. She accepts the offer of Joker Oil and Gas. She will rent out the apartment for $20 million per annum. So that rent is on and income. So we have rent income twenty million per annum times nine over twelve. So we rent it out for nine months. 
because it will be rented out when she is assuming office. So, 9 over 12 for 20 million, that gives us 15 million. Then back to the question. Although she will need to carry out some modification of the house, she tends to borrow 12 million. She wants to borrow a loan of 12 million. From ABC Bank, at an annual interest rate of 20% for the modification of the premises. The loan's repayment will start. It's different from August 1st, 2021. Now, interest on loans. Interest. The rate of interest is 20% of 12 million. The loan repayment will start with effect from August 1st, 2021. Since the repayment of the loan will start from August 1st, 2021, so the interest payment starts from that date. Now, August, September, October, November, December. The question we are solving is from I can November 2021. Position. One, two, three, four, five. So interest of five months. Interest of five months times 5 over 12. 20% of 12 million times 5 divided by 12. That gives us 1 million. 1 million. One million. This is not an interest income. It's an interest payment. That is why we are subtracting that. But if it is an interest income, you will have had it, had, had it positive. We subtract it because it is an interest payment. Interest expense. She's paying interest on the notes. Back to note two. If she assess this offer, she will pay rent of five million in Port Harcourt. So she will pay the rent we will subtract the rent later. She has a child who is a student at St. John University. Student allowance is no longer granted. It has been consolidated. So this information is not useful. So if it were the era, of, era when student allowance was still granted, we would have calculated that. She, might, she maintains her parents. Dependent relative allowance is no longer granted. It has been all these allowances have been substituted with consolidated relief allowance. She pays life assurance premium. This is the tax exempt deductions. We will deduct this. Her employers will deduct and remit on her behalf. Contribution. These are tax exempt items. Now. What is the total of this? 15 million minus 1 million, that would be 40 million. If you add this, 63.7 million plus 40 million. That is total. 77.7 million. That is total income. After this total income with less tax exempt items those who want to consider here will be given in the question. If she assess this offer, she will pay rent of 5 million in Port Harcourt. She has a child who is a student at St. John University. Student allowance is no longer granted. So this information is not useful. They have been consolidated 
That is why consolidated allowance is granted in lieu of all these allowances. She maintains her parents. So dependent relative allowance is no longer granted. They have been consolidated. She pays life assurance premium of 5 million per year on herself. So let her have life assurance premium as part of tax exempt deduction. Life assurance premium of 5 million. 5 million. Back to the question. Then, her employers with the daughter remit on her behalf. Contribution to National Housing Funds. 5 million. Contribution. Contribution to National Housing Funds. 5 million. We are not applying time apportionment to this because they are normally paid annually. They are not in line with the employment income. So that is why. So it will be paid. It will be remitted for the whole year, irrespective of whether it was in one employment before, before Johnny this. No, she has been in one employment for three months. Then she's also in this current employment with Joker and Sons with nine months, making 12 months. That is why these payments will be made for the full year. So, then, contribution to national housing funds by million, contribution to pension funds, contribution to pension funds, contribution to pension Pension funds. Contribution to pension funds, that is 3 million. We applied time apportionment to this employment income because they were not received for the whole year. The previous employment, she receives salary of 3 months. Then in this one, she will receive for 9 months. The rent will be for 9 months. So, back to the question. She pays national health insurance premium of 1 million. National health insurance premium 1 million. Back to the question. Mr. Okoyemi has approached you as he task us time to advise her on which of the offers to accept with the aim of achieving a higher income after tax. So, these are tax exempt deductions. So, you have this 10 million, 13, 14 million. This is total 14 million. If you subtract 40 million from 77.7 .7 million, you'll be left with 63.7 million. 63.7 million. 63. Point seven million. This is gross income. Gross income. Then from this gross income, we will deduct the consolidated relief allowance. How much will be the consolidated relief allowance? Consolidated relief allowance. We say it is higher of of. 200,000 or 1% of gross income. 1% of gross income, no, the gross income is 63.7 million. 
If you calculate one percent of this, it gives you six million three sixty-three point seven million. Sixty-three point seven million. One percent of that, it gives us six thirty-seven thousand. The higher is six thirty-seven, is greater than two hundred thousand. So we choose six thirty-seven thousand. Plus twenty percent of gross income. You know the consolidated relief allowance available is higher of two hundred thousand or one percent of gross income. Then whichever one is higher of the two, then you calculate twenty percent of gross income. You also add it. Twenty percent of gross income. Remember, gross income is sixty-three point seven million. Sixty-three point seven. Million. Three point seven million. Twenty percent of that. It gives us one million. I mean twelve million seven forty thousand. Twelve million seven forty thousand. Six thirty seven thousand. Plus twelve million seven forty thousand. Twelve million seven forty. Total is thirteen million three seventy seven thousand. Thirteen million three seventy seven thousand. If you deduct that from the gross income, you arrive at the chargeable income. Chargeable income. Remember our gross income as calculated was sixty three point seven million. So if you subtract the consolidated relief allowance from that, sixty three point seven million So you'll be left with fifty million. Three twenty three thousand. How much is the tax? Tax liability. Tax liability. Remember, first three hundred thousand there is at seven percent. This tax. Slab or task table will be provided in your question paper. Look at the last page of your question paper. You will see the, those information there. And other rates will be provided. 7% of this will be 21,000. Then next, 300,000 at 11%. 11% of this, that is 33,000. 33,000. Next, 500,000 naira at 15%. 15% of 500,000, that gives us 75,000. Next, 500,000 at 19%. If you look at the relationship, it is increased by 4. 4 plus 7, 11. 11 plus 4, 15. 15 plus 4, 19. 500,000, 19% 19 of 500,000. That gives us 95,000. Next, what has been tasked so far is 1.6 million. That is 500,000 plus 500,000. That is 1 million. Plus 300,000. That is 1.3 million. Plus 300,000. That is 1.6 million. And total income is 50 million, 323,000. And 1.6 million has been tasked so far. So then we have the next 1.6 million. 
add, if you add 2%, then you have 21%. What is 21% of 1.6 million? That gives us 336,000. 336,000. Then 3.2 million has been tasked so far. If you sum up this, that is 3.2 million. The sum of everything here. And your total income is 50,323,000. Then let us the balance now. Balance will be 50 million. 323,000 minus the amount that have been tasked earlier, which is 1.6 plus 500 plus 500 plus 300 plus 300, which is 3.2 million. So the amount that have been tasked so far earlier at the rate given that is between 7% to 21%, that is 3.2 million. So the balance now will be tasked at 24%. 24%. So what is the balance? Let's subtract 3.2 million from 50 million, 323,000. 50 million, 323,000 minus 3.2 million. Then you'll be left with the balance of 47 million, 123,000. What is 24% of that? That gives us 11 million. 309,520. Then let's sum up all the taxes table. So we have plus 336,000 plus 95,000 plus 75,000 plus 33,000. Plus 21,000. Everything is totaled. 11 million 869,520. 520. That is the task liability of Okoye If she's in employment of Joke, oil, and, and gas. So that is tax liability. Let's compute the tax liability of Ms. Okoyemi Olumba if she's in employment of Debris Hotel and Suite. Employment of Debris. Debris. Hotels, hotel and suit. Computation of tax liability for twenty twenty one year of assessment. Remember, the year of assessment, 2021 year of assessment, is from 1st of January 2021 to December 31st, 2021. But the employment of debris, hotels and youth, you know, she has been called by the two companies to assume office on April 1st, 2021. That means she will assume office from April 1st, 2021 to 31st of December 2021. This is nine months. Nine months. So that means you compute the income for nine months for Drebris Hotel. But salary from former employment, if she has 10 million from former employment, so salary. That is from former employment, which will be from 1st of January 2021 to 31st of March 
2021. Since she resumed office in April, in Debris, that means his employment, his former employment we see on March 31st, 2021. Remember, the employment income is accessible on national year basis. So on the basis of that, so we need the income, the salary for the first three months. So three months out of 12 months times 10 million. That gives us 2.5 million. 2.5 million naira. That is the sal salary from the, uh, from previous employment. Then what will be the salary from Debris Hotel and Suit? Salary. Debris Hotel and Suit. Remember, this salary will be from 1st of April 2021 to 31st of December 2021. Which is a salary of nine months. So we have nine over 12 times the basic salary in debris, hotel, and suit is 55 million. So we want to apply time apportionment 55 million. Nine months. Divided by 12. That gives us forty one million to fifty thousand. Forty one million to fifty thousand. So we have transport allowance. You no, know, this these are and income. And income. So transport allowance. Transport allowance for nine months in debris hotel and suit, nine over twelve, times the transport allowance is ten million. Times ten million. That is seven point five million. Utility allowance. Utility allowance. Nine months of two million. That gives us one point five million. Then we have meal allowance. Nine over twelve times meal allowance amounted to five million. That gives us three million seven fifty thousand. Leave allowance of five million. Leave allowance nine over twelve times five million. That gives us three million. Seven fifty thousand. Then after leave allowance, we have clothing allowance, four point one million. Clothing, clothing allowance of four point one million per annum. Then for nine months, we have. 
3 million and 75,000. 3 million and 75,000. Then we have official card. So, benefits in kinds on the use of the company's asset. Remember, it is 5%. So, we have benefits in kind. Benefit in kind. The use of official official car. 5% of the cost of the asset, which is 10 million. 10 million. Benefits in kinds for nine months that she's in employment of debris hotel and suits. That is the period from April 1st, 2021 to December 31st, 2021. 5% of 10 million times 9 divided by 12. That gives us 375,000. 375,000. So, what is the total? Plus 3,075,000. Plus 3,750,000. Plus 3,750,000 again. Plus 1.5 million plus 7.5 million plus 41 million 250,000 plus 2.5 million. That is totaled 63.7 million. 63 million 700,000. The next item is tax less tax exempt deductions. Remember, if she's in employment of debris hotel and suit, her apartment will not be available for renting out. Therefore, you will not have any rental income. That is why that is not considered here yeah. because she will occupy it occupy that apartment personally if she's in lagos so the tax exempt deductions include life assurance premium of five million life assurance premium same premium as of when she's in employment of joker oil and gas then we also have contribution to national housing funds. Contribution to national housing funds. And that amounted to 5 million as well. Then we also have contribution to pension funds. Contribution to pension funds that amounted to 3 million. Then we have national health insurance premium. National health insurance premium of 1 million. One million naira. So, what is the total? Five plus five, ten plus three, thirteen plus one, fourteen million. So, tax exempt deductions total forty million. If you subtract forty million from the total income, total income of sixty three point seven million. Then you have 49.7 million. 49.7 million. 
That is the gross income. Gross income. Then, from this gross income, we less the consolidated relief allowance. Less consolidated relief allowance. I've told you consolidated relief allowance is higher of higher of 200,000 Naira. 200,000 Naira or 1% of gross income. And our gross income is 49.7 million as calculated. 49.7 million. 1% of 49.7 million. That is 497,000. 497,000. Plus 20% of gross income. And our gross income is 49.7 million. What is 20% of that? 49.7 million. 20% of that, that is 9,940,000. 9,940,000. The sum of that, plus 497,000. So we have ten million four thirty seven thousand. Ten million four thirty seven thousand. If you subtract that, you deduct it from the gross income earlier calculated, you have the chargeable income. Chargeable income. So Minus, if you subtract it for the gross income of 49.7 million, chargeable income, that is 39 million, 263,000. 263,000. Then, how much will be the tax liability of Ms. Ope Yemi Olumba? Is she in employment of debris hotel and suit? Remember the first from the task lab, first 300,000 naira will be tied at 7%. 7% of 300,000, that will amount to 21,000. Then the next 300,000, next 300,000 will be tied at if you have 4% to 7%, then you have 11%. 11% of, of 300,000, that will be 33,000. Next, 500,000. Will be tasked at plus 4, that is 11 plus 4, that is 15%. 15% 15 of 500,000, that will be 75,000. What have been tasked so far is 1.1 million. If you sum up this, 600,000 plus 500, that is 1.1 million. And you're having 39,000 to 69,000. It's still a very wide, there's still a very wide margin between that. The next 500,000 at 15 plus 4, that will be 19%. 19% of 500,000. That will be 95,000 Naira. You have tasked 1.6 million so far. If you sum up this, from the income of 39 million to 63,000, 1.6 million have been tasked. Then next, 1.6 million will be tasked at, if you add 2% to 19, that will be 21%. What is 21% of 1.6 million? That gives us 336,000. 336,000. What, what you have tasked so far is 3.2 million. If you sum up this, 3.2 million. From the income of 39 million to 63,000. 
3.2 million have been tasked. Then balance, the remaining balance, that is from the income of 39 million to 63,000 minus the sum of this is 3.2 million. Minus 3.2 million there are which have been tasked, then the remaining balance will be tasked at 24%. 24%. So, 39 million, 263,000, 39, 263,000, minus 3.2 million naira, which have been tasked so far. Then you'll be left with the balance of 36 million and 63,000. What is 24% of that balance? Then we have 8 million. 655 five, 120. That is the tax liability of Miss Okwe Yemi Ulumba if she is in employment of debris, hotel, and suit. Plus 336,000 plus 95,000. Plus seventy five thousand, plus thirty three thousand, plus twenty one thousand. That is nine million to fifteen thousand one twenty. Nine million to fifteen thousand one twenty. That is the amount of cars that is payable by Okoyemi Ulumba if she is in employment. Of debris, hotel, and suit. The B, you are to advise me, Sir me on the employment that will enable her to achieve a higher income after tax. Let's answer the B part of the question. So, calculation of total income after tax. Of Miss Okoyemi Ulumba, if she is in employment of debris, debris, hotel, and suit. If she is in, in employment of joker, oil, and gas. So, what is her total income? Her total income is she is in employment of jockey, oil, and gas is seventy seven point seven million. So, total income we have seventy seven point seven million. What will be her total income if she is in employment of debris, hotel, and suit? We have 63.7 million. 63.7 million. If she is in employment of jockey, oil, and gas, the amount of tax she will pay is eleven million eight six nine five two nine tax payable. Eleven million eight six nine five two five. That is if she's in employment of Joker Oil and Gas. Then if she has Zoom office. In every hotel and suit, the amount of tasks she'll be required to pay is nine million to fifteen thousand one twenty. Nine million to fifteen thousand one twenty. This is five twenty. Now, back to the note. Note two. If she has sent this offer. 
That is, if she accepts the offer of Joker Oil and Gas, she will pay rent of five million in Port Harcourt. That means if she's not in Lagos, because if she's in Lagos, she will occupy her apartment in Lagos. Then she will pay rent of five million in Port Harcourt. So we have rent, rent payable. Five million in Port Harcourt. That is, if she accepts the offer of Joker Oil and Gas, but no rent will be paid if she accepts the offer of Debris Hotel and Suite located in Lagos because she will have an apartment to occupy. And that apartment will not be available for rent. That is why she did not have any or earned income. Back to the question she has a child. Who is a student at St. John University? I've told you no children allowance is claimable again. They have been substituted with consolidated relief allowance. So she maintains her parents. There is no dependent relative allowance again. They have all been consolidated. She pays life assurance, these are tax exempt deductions. The rest of the items are tax exempt deductions. Now, how much? will be her total net income after tax. Net income. Net income after tax. 77.7 million minus 11 million is 69 520 minus 5 million. This is totaled 60 million 830 480. Therefore, debris hotel and suit 63.7 million minus 9 million to 15,120. That gives us 54 million. Fifty four million four eight four eight eighty. The higher net income after tax is that of Joker Oil and Gas. Therefore, Miss Opeyemi Olumba should accept the offer of employment offer of employment of joker oil and gas because it produces the Higher after tax net income of sixty million eight thirty thousand four eighty. This is the end of the solution to the, to this question. Please try this. Try I can me. 2024 transition question one at the C level. Please drop the love emoji. Also share the video with others. Thanks for watching, Ezekiel.